Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. If this card looks familiar, then you've been around the channel for a minute. This is the Project Polo Drift Car. So we're going to be taking a look at this and another card that are getting released from my Evil Rabbit Vault of Cars out to the Patreon. So make sure you guys follow me all social media, all that you found in the description box below. So like I said, if you guys remember seeing the building of this, this is a Project Polo Drift car that is set for ESDA spec. So we're going to be ripping it here today for a chance on this downhill rally course. It's a rally car, turn drift car. So as for this, this is one of the two new cars that are coming out in my Patreon exclusive vault of my personal cars that I've built and never released. So if you guys want to get this as well as the other car you're going to see today, Make sure you follow the link down to Patreon for any tier Patreon level. There's these cars that are on there for you guys to download and rip yourself as well as a handful of other cars exclusively for my Patreons to show my thank you to you guys. So, with that being said... You know we're going to go full send on this thing. Not sure what gear ratio I should be in. using, and I also don't know this track. But you know, we're gonna do our best right now. Oh, I can't see. Could not see where I was going there for a second. I thought this was downhill, this is more of an uphill right now. This Project Polo drift car was definitely a lot of fun. Oh man, we're almost out of gas already. Should have put more fuel in the car. Gonna go till we're out of fuel. This Project Polo was definitely a lot of fun to build and definitely had a lot of fun making it. Just does not do what I was hoping it would fully do in a competition aspect. Okay. 360, 720 for style. So that's why the car has been put on the back burner, but it's now out for you guys. My Patreons and supporters, big thank you to all you guys for supporting the channel and everything that I do. For you guys to rip yourself. All the bangs and the pops. This Halo seats. Oh. Definitely need to be cut back a little bit, I feel. Oh. I don't know how much further we're going to be able to go on gas. Left foot break in there to keep ourselves kind of... Oh. Oh, gosh. Take the trash. You're a trash. Get it? <laughs> Forgot this thing does have no lift shift. And the dog box transmission. Oh, I'm running out of tires, too. I think roast tires. I just love the popping from this car. I feel like I drive this car better oh, on a rally course than I do a rally car. Oh, and that's the end of fuel. How far were we close to the end? We ran out of gas, man. Let's take a look at that from a third person perspective. The Project Polo Rally Car was definitely a fun car to build. Like I said, had a lot of fun with it being my Volkswagen background and everything like that. I'm gonna lower that car a little bit. So that's where this car truly came from, and I had a lot of fun. And now you guys can have fun ripping this car too. The car looks sick sliding, no joke. It sounds amazing. Kept the factory motor in it, just bumped up the turbo, pro the turbo pressure and everything like that. With those high mount third brake light on the rear wing. 
is a fun car to rip through the rally courses. Now, I would be probably adjusting the seats a little bit with the halo being a little bit big. May continue to do some more work on the car so there may be a new version released or an updated version for you guys. If you are sub to the Patreon, any car that I do release that I do update, you guys will get the updates for, of course. As long as you're a Patreon, you will get the updates to any cars that I may change when it comes to like modeling and things like that. Oh, is this where we did the 360, 720? Yep, there we go. We're throwing road markers away. So it's definitely a very different car that you don't see too often. And, you know, super excited to let you guys get a hand on it and see what you guys think about it. Any of these cars that are, you know, getting dropped on there, take pictures of them, do some runs, post them on Instagram, tag me in them, whatnot. Love to see your guys' reactions with these cars. And, uh, Definitely, like I said, a fun little car to build. Ooh, little wall tab there. Fun little car to build and change up and convert. You know, it's a rear-wheel drive from the all-wheel drive rally car that it was. <laughs> Suspension just so moving. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to take a look at the next car that is being released to the Patreons here. And that's uh, a bit bigger of a car. And that is the Drift Vet that I was going to be using as a competition car as you can see it does have a mild faded livery on it but evil rabbit logo energy of course evil rabbit motorsports this car was going to be a competition car that i was going to use in a invitational and or in you know drift competitions but never got fully around to finishing the car it's definitely a very beautiful model it's based off of matt fields's car so it's an extremely well built car it may look familiar because it you know is reminisce and is from the Forza Horizon model so we're gonna go full send on this but of course you know we got to turn the turn the teal glow on so let's go full send same track much louder of a car we should have more gas in this car so this car is so much louder than that polo so we're gonna drop the audio just a smidge there we go all right full send on this course with the vet oh as we're not starting off the greatest But then again, we also don't know this track. I, oh, for sure don't know this track. Oh. I think we just smacked into somebody's uh, car that was just parked side of the road. They should know better than to park on the side of a rally course. When there's a drift driver going up it. A little bit too heavy on the brakes, causing a bit of a lockup. This car is so much fun though. Got that turbo V8 going on under the hood. Oh, oh wall tap. Managed to save it though. See, if I knew this track, this would probably be so much easier, but I do not know this course. Not a rally track that I run all the time. Trying to get saucy with that flick in there. Died with the polo, so so that's a bit better of a view with the halos, but the halos are still pretty big. I do have some new halo seats in my comp cars, which reminisce the seat that I'm sitting in currently on my sim rig that I have put together and made. This is where we died with the polo, so. 
There's still plenty of gas in this vet. Up there, but we got it. Oh, we're just going full send up this hill. We're gonna run tires soon. There they go. Oh, man, as I say that, we uh. Kind of do not have much grip left in the back tires of this car. As you can see, oh boy. Right at the end though, so we can take a look at the replay angle of this. But as my steering was all kinds of sideways, did do some damage to the front of this car. So let's take a look at the replay and see uh, how we did. That menacing looking vet with the teal glow. All throughout the car, underneath, in the back, inside, and everything. Much more power than that Polo. But so these are the two cars that are now released out to my Patreons. Any level tier, one, two, or three, gets you access to these cars, as well as other cars and some other cool content on the Patreon page. So if you guys are not a part of it and you guys want to get these cars, make sure you guys follow the link down below and download it. Oh, we would have killed that man. Follow the link, join the Patreon. This is my way of saying thank you to everybody that supports the channel and Patreon and stuff like that because I can continue to bring cars out to you guys that I have in my vault of cars that I have never released out in the public. You know, personal cars that I've been testing for competitions and stuff like that. Cars got a lot of bounce. Ooh, there was a wall hit. Things that I was testing to find out what comp car I really wanted to run and stuff like that. And this was one of the cars as well as that M235 that we're going to be used for a drift invitational that never took a foothold because of the limit of time and staff you know help that I would need to basically staff a you know invitationals and stuff like that so I'm still in the works of trying to get that to happen it's just with limited support from people that I can count on and be there when I need them to be is uh, a struggle so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy the cards. If you do, like I said, take some pictures, take some video, let me know, tag me on Instagram. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.